Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, you'll see how to create and modify plan rates and rate seasons in Cloud PM. Cloud PM offers three types of plan rates day of week, day of stay, and extended stay, which can be either weekly or monthly. Although the process is similar in all three, we'll focus on day of week rates in this video. If you want a rate that goes up on weekends, for example, you'll use day of week. I'll start from the rate information page of an existing rate and select Add Edit Rates from the ribbon bar. We see a list of rate seasons under this header and the rate grid below. Here's an example of a new rate code. There are no seasons in this section. Our toolbar buttons are not available, and no rates are displayed down here. Since we can't enter a rate without a season, let's start by creating a new rate season. Cloud PM adds a line, and because this is the first season, it defaults to today's business date. If needed, we can enter a different start date or ending date. Seasons can last just one day, 30 years, or anywhere in between. This hotel uses the Rate Tier feature, so this box is checked by default. In some cases, such as contract rates, you'll need to uncheck this. If your hotel does not use Rate Tiers, this column will not appear. The Comment field lets us enter some notes about this season. It's optional and is only for your own information. This will not appear on any report or form. That's all the data we need for our season, so let's save it. So far, this is the same process as day of week and extended stay, but the difference becomes apparent in the next step. Remember, you have to select the season you want, even if there's only one. Oh look, the toolbar is active now. I'll click Edit Rates. We need to designate the room types and days of the week this rate will apply to. Cloud PM selects all room types and days by default. There are a few ways we can approach entering our new rates. I'll demonstrate a few, and you can decide what works best for your situation. One method is to enter rates for specific room types and days of the week. For example, I'll pick King and Queen rooms and Monday through Thursday. I'll enter the rates in here. Then go up to the toolbar and click Auto Fill Rates. Instead of typing rates into dozens of boxes, the Auto Fill button fills in all these room types and days with these amounts. Simply repeat this process for every room type and day of week combination you want in effect for this rate code and save when you're done. If your hotel has only a few room types or your rates don't change much from day to day, it might be easier to edit your rates from down here in the grid. That's right, if you just need to edit a single day of the week or one room type, you don't have to use these drop down lists. You can edit any rate directly in this grid after clicking Edit Rates. Just skip this section and go straight to the field you want to change. This works the same way in the other types of plan rates as well. As usual, we can sort the grid in a variety of ways by clicking on a column header. There, now it's easy to change my Friday rates all at once. You can also remove a room type from a rate if you don't wish to sell that type on a rate plan. Just use the Remove Room Type button on the toolbar. Cloud PM won't let you remove a room type if there are already reservations for it during that season. What if you have a season, maybe even from a past date, and want to use those rates for a future date range? It's easy, thanks to the power of the ribbon bar. First, I'll find the original season and select it. Then click up here on Copy Rate Season. I'll 
I'll set the new date range. Add a comment. Click Save. And my old season is new again. Notice that when we insert a season that overlaps the beginning or end of another season, Cloud PM automatically adjusts the existing season's beginning or ending dates so they don't conflict. A similar adjustment happens when we insert a short season into a longer one. Previously, this government per diem rate had been the same all year, but for 2016 they've increased during summer so I need to add a new season. I'll just enter the dates, then save. Cloud PM automatically split the big season in half and dropped my new season in the middle. Now that my new summer season is in place, I can enter the rates. There's a Delete Rate Season button on the toolbar if you decide to remove a season. Just like when copying or editing a season, we first need to select the season, then click Delete Rate Season. Notice that Cloud PM automatically closed the gap by changing the ending date of the previous season. Finally, in the event you want a gap in your rate, for example, a rate you only offer during a certain time of year, simply create a season to fill that gap, but don't enter any rates. To learn more about Cloud PM's rate management features, watch our videos on Day of Stay, Extended Stay and Dynamic Rates, Rate Tiers, Booking Rules, and the Daily Rate Manager. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our Customer Support Center for additional questions.